Hello, friends. Have you ever been kept up late at night with the idea for a quilt and you just had to get up and grab some paper and sketch it out? That happens to me a lot. If I'm not actually sewing, I am dreaming of new quilts to make. And one of the best things to help with that process is EQ8. I love the electric quilt design software. I have used it for years. And today I want to share with you my top 10 tasks that I do with EQ8. Okay, here we are in the design software and I am working on the a block. So I'm in the block work table. So the number one thing that you can do is draw a quilt block. So I am imagining based on Fibonacci numbers. So it's going to be offset a little bit. I'm going to do um, one inch and then a two inch row. So one plus two is three. And then the third row will be three inches. So you get these kind of staggered blocks, um, that, but it's still a nine patch. So then after I've drawn that with those lines, I can come over to the color option and I can use the plain um, colors that they have, or I can use the preloaded fabric. So I like to just play with some of these fabrics. And I always like a good monochromatic color scheme. So I'm going to throw in some light and then some darker colors and do something like that. So you can play around with your colors and the ones you've used stay up in this little bar. So I can come back and I like that more medium tone in there as well. Um, we could play with that and then we could um, make all of those dark or light. So that's my second favorite thing to do is to play with the colors there as I make my blocks. Use your menu options to save things into your sketchbooks. And then we want to make a whole quilt. So I'm going to come over here to quilt work table. It's a button up at the top. You can make just a plain horizontal quilt. So let's see what that looks like. I want to choose my layout. Um, you can adjust the size of the blocks here. It doesn't matter if that exactly matches the blocks that you drew previously. I started with a six inch block and this says nine inch. It'll adjust the math for you, but let's just make a nice big quilt with 12 inch blocks. So you can see how it was adjusting things there. And um, I don't want any borders now. So I'm gonna delete that option, but we could come in and add multiple borders. And then we get to the design part in and we can uh, use the shortcut, hold the control button, and they all drop in nice and easily. So once we have our blocks there, kind of boring when they're all set up straight. So every other one, I'm going to turn around to try and make this optical illusion quilt getting bigger and smaller. So. I'm just hitting the rotate block and it makes that fun stair step looking option from my blocks. The other fun option is to play with this symmetry button. So I can uh, rotate my blocks if I just click the button. So there it rotated them to make a large center square. There's an even more randomized version of kind of the stair step that I was doing and some nine patch options that look similar to the other stair step that I did. Ooh, that's fun. And you can just 
keep clicking through those randomized options. So that's another fun tool to use in the EQ software is that ran that symmetry button, which seems to randomize all your blocks. It's a lot of fun. I've settled on this layout and I want to see how things look with a different color scheme, but I don't want to go all the way back and recolor my block. So I'm just going to come over here to the fabric tools and that opens up the same color library that I had before. And let's just make this a little warmer. I'm going to drop in a red and I could go through and just use the paintbrush tool and paint all those big squares red. But if I use the swap color button, it goes so much faster. See, boom, I've I've made all my colors, those dark colors red. Let's see what it does with a lighter background. And I'm going to make that that color. And then let's since we're here in the holiday season, let me see if I can find a nice holiday green. And there's one potential red and green holiday version of that quilt. So you can easily use the swap color and you've got a lot of choices for your quilt with just with the built-in libraries there. Another fun option with electric quilt is to make paper pieced patterns. So I'm going to just give myself a rough drawn star. Now I know this would be pretty hard to make templates for and piece. And I bring that all the way out to the edge and then I can connect it back to my starting. If I wanted that to go off the edge, it could. We could do something like that. Then if I go to print and export, I have several different options. I can just print the block. I could print some cutting templates. I could print rotary cutting instructions, but I know I want to foundation paper piece this star. So I'm going to click on foundation and it brings up my block. And these different colors are the sections that you would work with in order to put the whole block together. So I can uh, preview this. And it shows me the different te template sections that I could start with. And you can drag these around a little bit to give yourself room to trim those paper foundations to actually then piece them together. And you would be able to just print that off and make that star block really quick and easy. So we've covered six great things that you can do with EQ, and I want to go to the library feature now for number seven. So you can see there is a huge library of quilts, quilt patterns that you could make here. I love stars. Nine patch stars are so much fun. So let's work with this, that block with the corners. You can see a lot of them are kind of similar. I also like the uh, framed friendship star. So we can uh, select that and edit to the block work table. We come over to our color tab and there we can see our star. Um, I'm going to add that to my sketchbook. But you can make all sorts of sampler quilts just with the selections in the block library for EQ8. So have fun exploring that. For my next quilt, I want to use the on point layout. So that just shifts everything 90 degrees so that we have that on point layout and we've got the setting triangles around the edge. And there we go, I wanted a rectangular quilt. And then I come over to design so that I can actually 
put my block into that quilt. So I choose set block. And we have our friendship star here. Again, I'm gonna use my control option to put all those blocks in there. And you have the option then of leaving these alternate squares empty or filling them in with the stars, but that also fills in my setting triangle. So I'm gonna go through and take those out of the border there. We'll do something different. So that just gives us the look of those stars on point. Another option, so working with a horizontal strip quilt and we come over to our layout baby quilt, 36 by 42, perfect. So I don't want just strips of fabric for this particular example. So I can come out to the style, the strip style here. I want to put some pieced blocks in there. And if they are, if this is a 36 inch strip and this bottom row is six inches tall, I want six blocks in there and they'll each be six inch squares. Same thing with the top row. That was a six inch row. So I want to put pieced blocks in there and put six of them. For a nine inch block, I'm only gonna have four to make 36. And then with the 12 inch, I would have three. And then we had one more nine inch row that would be four. And then I could go to the design and I could put in some stars with ribbons around them. There's also some of these other standard blocks that are automatically listed there and you could make your row quilt with the block library. So lots of fun places to play with EQ8. So the last feature of EQ8 that I want to share with you is definitely not the least. This is the best thing about EQ8 and the thing that most quilters love, love, love about this software is when you come to print and export under your quilt, once you have the whole quilt layout, you've got this wonderful yardage tab. And there's some basic settings there. I just always go with the defaults. And I'm going to preview my fabric requirements. It always prints really small, but I'm going to come in and zoom in here on just what I need. So for that quilt layout, I would need three quarters of a yard of my dark, one yard of my medium, and three quarters of a yard of this bright blue, which they say is grunge. So in addition to the yardage estimates, they give you the actual fabric that was loaded into their library. Now, of course, this is a few years old, so these fabrics may not be available, but as a bonus feature for EQ8, you can load your own fabrics. That's a little more complicated procedure that I'm not gonna do in this video, but the having the ability to calculate your yardage is wonderful. EQ8 is having a fabulous sale in November of 2023. So I hope you'll hop over to their website and do a little pre-holiday shopping, get yourself in a good position for lots and lots of quilting in the new year. And I will put the link and the discount code in the video description below. So I hope you have lots of fun playing with 
EQ8 and sewing to your heart's content. Are you looking for a quick quilt project to make for the next holiday decoration? Watch this video next. You're sure to be inspired no matter what season it is.